Hello friends! Today I'm going to be learning how to be a Lolita. Excuse me what? You already are a Lolita. Okay, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. Is this in place of your beginner video which you desperately need to do and promised like a million years ago? This is not me skipping out on a beginner guide. I am working on a beginner guide. It's just very thorough and has a lot of segments to it, which is taking me quite a long time to film and make. And the past two months have been very crazy. Is it because independent creators struggle on YouTube and have to post constantly so you have set aside videos that take longer to film in order to make videos that you can produce quicker to keep up with YouTube's promotion of bigger networks with dozens of people working on them on top of that your content is constantly flagged for the use of the word Lolita therefore less likely for monetization and promotion in searches? Is this a filler video? Maybe. Viewers you can help Lore by visiting patreon.com lovelilar she has extra content there and makes regular updates. I'm going to be going through the how to be a Lolita wiki how guide with you and we are going to see how accurate or how inaccurate it is and just kind of break it down together. I'm expecting it to be terrible. I find that most wiki how articles are really bad and strange and inaccurate and who I don't know who makes these who is trying to find like a reference uh, this article has three out of five stars <laughs> I'm not expecting a lot but let's uh, break it down how to be a Lolita this capitalization is weird but I mean I'm no one to talk I do weird capitalization I just don't like when Lolita is capitalized when it's not at the beginning of a sentence because when Lolita is capitalized on its own, it's usually being referred to as like a proper noun and that a lot of the times is a reference to the book and the film. I know that the author of this article did not mean it in that way because they also capitalized B. I think they were just sort of emphasizing how to be a Lolita, but I don't know, it's a weird pet peeve of mine. I don't like Lolita being capitalized when it's not the beginning of a sentence. Anyways, moving on. Lolita is a Japanese street fashion inspired primarily by the clothing and style of the Rococo and Victorian periods. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. The fashion movement started in Japan in the 1980s and has evolved and spread since. I th think that there's traces of Lolita back to the 70s. I, I'm not a very good Lolita historian, but there is a video by Deerstalkers, the Kawaii School, history of Lolita and I definitely recommend checking that out because even back in the 80s and even the 90s what Lolita was looks so different than what it is now so seeing that evolution is really interesting. Nowadays Lolita can be seen worldwide. You can learn what clothes options are available to help craft your own Lolita look and how to pull it off with elegance and style. Uh, don't capitalize Lolita in the middle of a sentence. All right, I cannot draw. <laughs> and I feel like I should not say anything about these drawings because I cannot draw. I could not do better than this. Anything that I tried to draw would be much, much worse than this. I don't understand why WikiHow illustrations are always mildly horrifying. I don't know what it is that makes them horrifying. The clothes are great. I think even if this was drawn as like mannequins without the faces, I feel like the faces are looking into my soul. But I mean, you drew. I feel so bad saying bad things about art. Pick clothes carefully. Lolita styles of clothes can be found all around you. Maybe not, but we'll continue. Though it may take a little work to find items befitting the style aesthetic. You can purchase brand items secondhand online, though you can also find items locally if you are careful. I guess it really depends on where you are. If you're in San Francisco, you can go to Angelic Pretty. It's right there. <laughs> you can go to Baby the Star Shine Bright. But there, I find that in most places, you really can't find things that are 
Lolita. There are definitely things that you can find that you could pair with Lolita, but I personally wouldn't tell beginners to try and go and find things locally unless they have resources that are Lolita because here's the thing and I am speaking from experience it is very very difficult to take something that's not Lolita and make it Lolita and wear it in a Lolita way it's very difficult and I find that a lot of beginners don't want to put the money in to make a coordinate they don't want to have to put the money into buying a JSK and buy they see it as like too much money too much of an investment so they try to pair other things that aren't Lolita and it doesn't work. And I did this when I started and it was atrocious. It really takes experience and understanding the fashion to be able to mix in those things. And I find that the easiest areas are probably blouses and shoes, but you probably want to have some JSK staple, some actual Lolita piece. Because here's the other thing that will happen. Lolita's will try to mix in things from the beginning that aren't Lolita and they'll post them and people who have been in the fashion longer will try to tell them, you know, this isn't Lolita, this is what you should do. And it's really upsetting to that beginner because they feel proud of their outfit, they think that it looks great, and then to hear people saying that it's not Lolita and then they're like, oh, Lolitas are mean and Lolitas and I don't want to wear this fashion and then people don't end up doing it and drop out a lot of the time. Some Lolitas are, of course, gatekeepers and elitists, but other Lolitas just want to help teach you. They just want to keep the integrity of the style. So I'm literally thinking of my first post on Daily Lolita when I thought everyone was being so mean to me, and no, sis, they were just trying to help. <laughs> if you're curious about that, I have a Lolita Reacts to my first post, and you can see more about it. It's better to just bite the bullet and buy something that is Lolita. Buy something from a secondhand shop. Buy something from Taobao. Buy something from a Taobao reseller so that you get the hang of what a coordinate is, what your personal style is, you figure it out, and then try to incorporate pieces that aren't Lolita into it. Of course, this is all just my blah blah blah, you know, opinion based off of my experiences. You don't have to follow them, but... You could learn from my mistakes and not have to make your own. Mainstream stores are unlikely to have dresses or skirts, true, that are full enough to fit a petticoat. While it is possible to find blouses that can work with in these stores, it's important that they cover your shoulders, have no cutouts, and are not cropped or low cut. Yeah, true, true. I think that a cropped blouse could work, and I have worn cropped blouses could with JSKs because you're only seeing this much of the blouse. So if it ends here, it doesn't super matter because it's underneath your dress. If you wish, you may create and sew your own Lolita clothing. If you wish, you, you have permission. Obviously, yes, you can sew your own Lolita clothing, but it's uh, uh, sewing your own Lolita clothing is not an easy task especially for beginners. And a lot of people think that sewing your own clothes is gonna be cheaper, and it isn't always. I don't sew myself, but I have done projects and I found that you're gonna spend more money in materials and your time. It might not be cheaper in the long run than buying something from Bodyline, than buying something from a Taobao reseller. If you can sew your own Lolita clothing, by all means go for it, but then you, I think you still need to get a piece and really understand the fashion before you start sewing your own clothes because then again, you don't want to make something that you kind of think is Lolita and follow a pattern that is kind of Lolita and you put your heart and soul into it and then you post it and people tear it apart or try to help give you constructive criticism. It can be really upsetting. It can really deter people from wanting to continue. So definitely get a good handle on Lolita silhouettes, Lolita structures. Please do not take this as me saying, don't make Lolita, because that's not what I'm saying. I think you should evaluate why you want to sew Lolita and that it could be helpful to buy some pieces first to fully understand the style before making it. Be aware of online scam sites like Milano or anything that seems fishy. Always verify the trust 
trustworthiness of a site before buying from it. That is great advice. Find matching pieces. Lolita outfits are called coordinates or cords because everything in each outfit is carefully matched to the rest of the outfit. Yeah, that's... Wow, this article is actually more legitimate than I had thought. Achieve the Lolita silhouette. Common Lolita skirt or dress shapes are cupcake and bell. And A-line. Make sure that your petticoat is the right shape. A square dancing petticoat will not fit under a bell-shaped skirt correctly. You need a bell-shaped petticoat for a bell-shaped skirt. I wonder if this person used to follow me on Tumblr. <laughs> Get socks or stockings. These are required. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I was like, what? Mm, yeah. <sighs> These illustrations of shoes are, um, something else. Mm, choices. Now this accessorize. I agree with everything in it except for these bunny ears. Now, true, brands have made bunny ears and they are cute, but these look like just regular bunny ears that you would get and that that scares me <laughs> although i don't think anyone is probably taking this as seriously as i am these illustrations i'm sorry they do kind of creep me out still i don't know what it is but they do look like lolitas these do kind of look like 2013 2014 lolitas but honestly don't let that style die let's keep it keep it going with the high wig falls and the flower crowns like let's do it up Add hair accessories. This is to balance out the volume created below the waistline. Yes, thank you. Absolutely, I always try to explain this and this is very valid. Wigs are often used in the fashion but are certainly not required. Headbands and head bows are very popular, easy and safe choices to decorate and add volume to a look. Other options are rectangle headdresses, top hats. Hmm. Hmm. This illustration is actually really cute and doesn't bother me as much as the previous ones. And they do- Why is that bow upside down? <laughs> Select the right makeup application for you. Most Lolitas don't use a particularly elaborate makeup routine, but generally a smooth, natural foundation look is paired with subtle color choices that coordinate with the rest of the outfit for lipstick and eyeshadow. Style your hair. Your hair is important too. There are many options for you to choose, but most often a hairstyle to balance the volume of your skirt looks best. Okay, I'm going to end it here because this is the end of part one and it goes into a part two. And this was supposed to be a very quick filler video, but I've now spent hours editing it because the first part, me just going through it, I recorded two hours of talking and then for this part two I recorded another whole hour. How long is this article? I'm sweaty. <laughs> this is very in-depth, a lot more than I thought it would be. I was expecting to just look at this and be like correcting all the inconsistencies and inaccuracies and I'm at like an hour of reading through this. This is inc this is actually a really incredible resource. There's only a few things that I would nitpick or change and I am shocked that it is this accurate. This was clearly written by somebody who is a Lolita and maybe like a moderator, someone who's really involved. If you would like me to go through any more of these wiki hows on Lolita, please let me know. I think I need to stop for now because this is like Thank you for whoever uh, wrote this, including my video. Oh yeah, in the hair portion, they linked to my video, which I'm very thankful for, and I encourage you all to go check out this wiki how for yourself. I will link it in the description. It is now 2 a.m. and I just spilled Sprite all over my cables. I hope that they are okay. I'm, I'm fine. That's very nice, and thank you for taking the time to write all of this out and make a really informative article and resource. Wow. And as always, stay lovely.